Gmail and Apple Mail are two of the most popular email platforms on the planet. For many, Gmail is the go-to service cause it's deeply integrated with Google's powerful ecosystem of apps. And for most of the Apple users, Apple Mail is the default choice as it offers a native experience on their iPhone or Mac. The lines between them can get blurry, so today, we're doing a detailed, hands-on comparison to show you exactly what each one does best and which is the right fit for you. All right, let's start with the interface. As you can see on the screen, Apple Mail is designed to feel like a natural part of your iPhone or Mac. It follows Apple's design philosophy with a minimalist layout that's simple and functional. For example, when you're in a message on your iPhone, a swipe from the left edge takes you back, just like it does in messages or settings. It's consistent and intuitive if you're used to Apple devices. Though it's true that some might find this simplicity a bit too basic, lacking the density of features some power users want. Now, let's switch over to the Gmail app. The first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't quite feel like a native Apple app. Did you notice that same left swipe gesture? In Gmail, it doesn't go back. It opens a sidebar menu. This is a small thing, but it's a clear example of Google bringing its own design language, which feels more at home on Android, into the Apple ecosystem. The interface is busier than Apple Mail, with more buttons and options visible at once, which can feel a bit cluttered. However, it's incredibly functional, and on the web, you get a lot of customization options like themes, which Apple Mail doesn't offer. Moving on from the overall look, let's talk about how each app helps you manage your inbox. Gmail's standout feature is its intelligent automated categorization. As you can see here, it automatically sorts your incoming mail into tabs like primary, promotions, and social. This happens right out of the box without you having to do anything, and it's very effective at keeping marketing emails and social media notifications from cluttering your main view. Gmail doesn't use folders. It uses labels. Think of labels like tags or post-it notes. The key difference is that a single email can have multiple labels. This is incredibly flexible, but it can be confusing, especially if you try to use your Gmail account within the Apple Mail app. Apple Mail takes a different approach. Its strength lies in managing multiple accounts. If you have a Gmail, an Outlook, and an iCloud account, Apple Mail combines them all into a single, unified inbox. All your new emails from every account appear in one list. It's the best option if you juggle different email providers. To prioritize messages, Apple Mail uses a VIP system. You can mark specific contacts as VIPs, and all their emails will appear in a dedicated folder. When it comes to organizing your emails long-term, Apple Mail uses a traditional folder structure, which you're probably familiar with. Now, let's get into the core email features. The experience of actually writing an email. When you hit Compose in Gmail, it opens in a pop-up window at the bottom of the screen. This is a fantastic feature for multitasking as it allows you to search your inbox or reference another email without having to close your draft. The process for adding attachments also feels very straightforward because you can import files directly from your Google Drive. But right down here, if you click the confidential mode, you can make your mail so secure that your recipient can't forward, copy, print, or download this mail. You can even set an expiration date and SMS passcode for even better security. When you compose a message in Apple Mail, it opens in a more traditional, separate window. The formatting options are good, with a clean toolbar for changing fonts, colors, and adding lists. But Apple Mail has a substantial feature that we love. Markup. Let us show you this. When you attach an image or a PDF, you can draw, write, or add a signature directly onto the attachment before sending it. It's incredibly useful for quick annotations. Both apps also offer an undo send feature, but we did notice that Apple's is a bit more flexible, which allows you to choose a longer delay period in the settings. Security and privacy are arguably the most important aspects to consider. 
Apple is primarily a hardware company. Its business is selling you iPhones and Macs. Because of this, it treats privacy as a key product feature. Apple Mail includes a feature called Mail Privacy Protection. It works by hiding your IP address and preventing senders from using invisible tracking pixels. These pixels tell senders if, when, and where you opened their email. With this feature enabled, they can't spy on your mail activity. Google's business model is fundamentally different. While Google has stated that it no longer scans the content of your Gmail messages to target ads, its ad personalization is based on your overall activity across all Google services. They give you a lot of control in the ad settings page to manage this, but the data collection is still central to their free services. So they are way behind Apple in terms of security. Beyond the basics, there are a few other key areas to compare. First, the writing assistant. Gmail has had Smart Compose for years, offering predictive text suggestions as you type. Apple, however, recently introduced its own Apple intelligence writing tools. The big advantage here is that Apple's tools work across all the email accounts you have in the Mail app, whether it's Gmail, Outlook, or iCloud. Next is search and filtering. There's no contest here, Gmail wins. Powered by Google's search engine, its search is incredibly fast and powerful. You can use advanced search operators to find exactly what you need. Apple Mail uses a simpler, natural language search, which is more user-friendly but lacks the raw power of Gmail for complex queries. For customization and integration, it's a split decision. Gmail integrates deeply with the Google ecosystem, Drive, Calendar, Docs, and so on. If you live in that world, it's perfect. Apple Mail's strength is its integration with the Apple operating system and its ability to manage multiple email accounts from different providers in one place better than anyone else. To sum it all up, let's quickly go over the pros and cons. So, which one is better? It depends entirely on you. If you are deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem, prioritize privacy above all else, and want a clean, simple, and native experience, Apple Mail is the clear choice. But if you rely on Google's suite of apps, need the most powerful search available, and want a consistent experience across all platforms, then Gmail is still the one to beat. Pick the one that suits you and share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.